I wanted to come on here and make a video about uh, Christian men not working. I see all over YouTube and when I was on Facebook, I saw it all over Facebook. Um, a lot of good, even young, healthy men and older men that are healthy, uh, they get around pretty good. Uh, they go out there and they evangelize pretty good. Uh, they, you know, are always on the move. Um, you know, the Lord has never led me to quit my job. He's never told me to quit my job and go full-time in the ministry. Um, actually, I minister while I'm working. You know, I'm blessed to be in a place where I don't have to wear a uniform. I can wear whatever I want as long as it's not outside their dress code or whatever. You know, I always wear a uh, shirt for Jesus. But I see it all over on YouTube now and when I was on Facebook that people always want you to donate to their ministry. They say that I'm going to go here and this is how much my plane ticket is or I'm going to go stay here for a week and I need this much for my boarding or or, or whatever it is, I don't have money for food. Or I even seen some of them to where they post vi uh, pictures and videos of their roof being bad or somebody busted out their window or whatever and ask them for donation money. And they don't work. How would they have time to work if they're always running around? If they always got somewhere to go and always got somewhere to be? How would they have time? To make a paycheck to receive a paycheck uh, there's decent places to work you don't have to go work at a gas station selling beer don't have to go work as a dancer in a nightclub don't have to work as a bouncer at a nightclub don't have to go work in a restaurant where they sell alcohol there's other restaurants that doesn't sell alcohol if you can't find other options at the time that's all you can get is a restaurant job which is praise God you're trying and there are some good jobs out there. Uh, I was at my job actually when Jesus came to me. And he's never led me to quit my job. I'm still there today. Thank you, Jesus. I never quit my job. Never had no desires of quitting my job. Um, if anything, I'm, I, I, I actually work more now than I used to. Back when I was in sin, uh, I would call off a lot and be very foolish and unwise. But I want to read to you some scriptures that Jesus really pointed out to me on this matter. And uh, the first one is going to be in uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, 4, chapter 4, verse 11 through 12. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life and to mind your own business and to work with your own hands as we command you, that you may walk properly towards those who are outside, and that you may not be in need. And then uh, I'm going to Second Thessalonians verse three eight through fifteen. Nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and told night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you, not because we do not have authority, but to make ourselves an example of how you should follow us. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but as busybodies. Now those who are such we, we commend and, and exhort through our Lord Jesus Christ that they work in quietness and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. And if anyone does not obey our word in this epistle, Note that person do not keep company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet do not count him as an enemy, but abonish him as a brother. 
and going on to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. So I take it very seriously that men should work, especially if they have children. Um, they need to take time to take care of their household. They need to take time to uh, raise their children up in the way they should go and hope and pray that when they get older that they do not part from that way that they should go. And also, um, you know, if you are a working man and you're trying, you don't make a lot of money, uh, you got a, uh, you got a travel event coming up, there's nothing wrong with asking for a donation. You know, the Lord knows your heart, and He knows you're trying, and He knows if you had it, it would be covered. But I'm talking about people that really, that's how they live, is off donation money for the ministry. I seen it right on Facebook. They take pictures of what they eat and where they stay and what they do. And that is all donation money. So I, so I just want to encourage you you know that if you are a man in Christ Jesus, you know you should be working. You shouldn't be a burden to anybody. Uh, you should be taking care of yourself. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be the best job. I mean, you know, start out flipping burgers or whatever it may be, and then go from there. But at least you're trying. You know, you're not just being a busybody and laying your head here and there, doing whatever. You know, the Lord, the Lord wants us to be a good example, and if we're just mooching off other people. That's not the character or the fruit of Jesus. So I just want to encourage you, you know, make sure that you're being a man that God has called you to be. And if you come across this video, uh, it's for a man that doesn't work. Uh, you need Jesus. You need to be born again. You need to be set free from your sins. And you also need to find a pure job. I hope that this message can help somebody. May the truth of God be with you.